All right, morning everyone. Come back to Vlogmas day nine. Roll the intro. <laughs> morning Soph has got her period and she was in a lot of pain she had a bit of a stomach cake last night and then she was in a lot of pain this morning and we were in the bathroom and she said she felt dizzy so I was gonna take her to bed and she completely collapsed passed out unconscious which terrified me <laughs> and then she came to um, she's all good um, and she was in just a lot of pain, unbearable pain. And if you know Soph, you know she never wants to have... Uh, oh, we're zooming. You know she never wants to have Panadol. She doesn't like the... She wants to um, try and help fight things naturally, unless it's unbearable. And this morning she was begging me for Panadol. We didn't have any, and she was yelling at me to go... Well, not yelling, but she was um, desperately asking me to go get some from the chemist. So that's just, I guess, an indicator of how much pain she was in. So she was demanding Panadol, which I usually have to convince her. We'll go see her, though. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> She's watching a Christmas movie on the iPad. How you doing? I'm better now. A bit better? Got some Aspro Clear. Double dose. You were like begging me to get you Panadol, and normally I've got to convince you, and even still it's a no. So, that's just an indication of how much pain you're in. Did you pass out from the pain, or what? I don't know. You scared every cell in my body. And I was calling your name, and you were not responding to me at all, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. It was the weirdest feeling, like I tried to get up from my whole oh, body. Oh, like, sorry, we zoomed. My whole body, like, like I started to get dizzy and my whole body started to get tingly and then I just like, lost, like, yeah. I don't remember what Yeah, I so it, And then I remember you just being like, so, so. And then I yeah, I was doing that for a solid five full seconds. Mm. And your it's because all the blood just completely exited your brain. Mm. You had no oxygen to the brain. I heard it, like I turned around to get the stuff out of the way on the bed so you could come lie down and I just hear a crash. Turn around and you're like limp, like kind of half wedged in between the sink and the toilet. Mm. And so I grabbed you and I grabbed your head. You were still responsive in a way that like you were still, your head was moving. So you weren't like completely gone, but I was yelling your name and trying to like look at you and blow on your face and stuff and you were not coming to it. So yeah, you're just going to have a little rest day today, hey? Yeah. I'm going to continue Vlogmas for you. A vlog for the day. I don't really know if you guys are going to be interested in that, but better than nothing, right? Just funny here, okay? Well, I'm going to do some stuff. Have some breakfast. Yeah? I couldn't even think about eating it. You're not hungry at all? Okay, well you got water there. Is there anything else you need? You got your little movie. You got your phone if you need me or just want to go on it. And I've, I've banned her from her laptop. For now. Because no more editing because it stresses you out of how much work you've got to do. Elf gone. Elf <laughs> 20. So still resting. She's feeling a lot better though. She explains it as, explains it as oh, in the belly. I got bags. So yeah, lunch time. Best to go have my lunch. But I got your questions. Sophie's out here with me now. Yeah. How you doing? I'm feeling a bit better. Let's go to these. Love your page. Thanks. I think they were talking to you. This one's for you, mm -hmm. but do you find it difficult eating healthy when Sam eats unhealthy foods? Not really. No? No, like I always find be... healthier alternatives. Yeah, but do you ever get jealous? Probably. Maxi bonds? Yeah, maxi Yeah, crap, you always get jealous. Lots of collaboration offers, thank you. Favorite thing about Sophie? I mean, I can do something really like, cringe and obvious, like, oh, her smile. Stay away from those and go, like, determination and her attitude towards life. She's pretty determined and pretty like, or I thought driven. It's 
couple goals and stuff. That's like my favorite thing that isn't like, oh, your laugh. Because <laughs> obviously all those are my favorite. Favorite thing you guys do when you are together. So all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we love yeah, to eat. We, we love do. doing food dates. Yeah. All our dates involve food, picnics. Yeah. Or, yeah. What's the weirdest habit about each other? As in what's Sophie's weirdest habit? I don't know weird habit, but like she's got a couple of habits like stressing out about things that aren't. Well, they're not, they're not worth stressing about, but overstressing puts a lot on her plate. She puts the weight of the world on her shoulders. She doesn't want to let other people help her, you know, get a video up. But look, she's editing now. She only died this morning and she's editing again. Like, she, she just can't, she just can't stop. But that, that goes back to like my favorite thing about her, like her drive and stuff. Just sometimes you go a little bit overboard and things like today happen, you run yourself into the ground. Shout out, Jesse Norbs for the question. Where's your favorite place to go on a date night? Honestly, we haven't been on a date night in so long. Cause we've been, busy as like working and we've been doing mad money saving lately. All of our date nights have been in the lounge room or like going for a walk or something, doing a workout. Mm. <laughs> like movies and some food. Go to the movies, go get some food. My creatures a habit really. Yeah. What do you guys enjoy doing the most together? Love you guys. Oh, thank you. Aww. Eat it. <laughs> did I already answer that question? I think I did. We enjoy working out together. We like movies and we got similar tastes in movies and stuff, so we like watching movies. We want to do more adventures because we we haven't really yeah, lately. We like to. When we first started dating, you do obviously because everyone was like, oh, let's, you know, try to think of all these new things and now we live together, it's like we see each other every day. Yeah. Biggest pet peeves for each other. I don't know, yours is probably my snoring. <laughs> messiness? Messiness, yeah, or the lack of cleaning. Because a pet peeve is kind of more like a, it's not really annoying, it's just like, like it's not yeah. like a deal breaker, it's just no, annoying, it's just yeah. Like you're a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely your cleanliness. And like, I, I'm not clean 100% of the time, but you're a shocker. If you guys see the last video, bloody room, oh my god. Most annoying thing about the other person, probably the same thing. Like, mm. That's kind of Favorite quality of the other person? The quality, like what? I think you kind of answered that before. Yeah. Driven and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's a quality, yeah. Quality. You know, what's your favorite quality about me? Selflessness and your humor. You have a good sense of humor, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember when we first started dating, that's what I thought. First day, you were paying me out. <laughs> like, cracking jokes. And I was like, oh, that's relief. Like, because yeah. I'm such a douchebag. <laughs> I'm, I'm such an, uh, an idiot. Has there been any difficulties within the relationship you both have had to overcome? A few. Long term relationship. We both have very different life goals mm. on what we want to do. That sometimes clashes. We both have to be right. Yeah. And so. We're both stubborn. We're stubborn as hell. So when the other person doesn't agree with our outlook on life, it ends up in an argument. But we usually sort that out. Yeah. All of our arguments are petty as. Yeah. So we're pretty good in that way. Like yeah. all our arguments don't really mean anything. But in, like 10 minutes later, we're. Yeah. Back to normal. Yeah. The other person's coming sheepishly back to the other yeah. one. Yeah. Compromise is important. I would not be like where I am now if I wasn't dating Soph because I wouldn't have compromised all this, this some stuff. Yeah. And it was worth the compromise. Yeah, me too. But I, there's some stuff I wouldn't have had to compromise if I wasn't in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be, in fact, I don't think I'd be in as good a place as I am. Yeah. What do you think is the best thing about living together? Honestly, it's, it sounds bad, but it's, it's as simple as just getting to see you all the time. Yeah. When we got together, I don't know, we were talking about moving in together like within minimal like, months. Yeah, within probably like four or five months. Five months. Some people that's fast and some people it's not, but, mm. but that's fairly quick on the grand scale. Yeah. And we didn't like know each other that well before either, so we knew like of each other really. Yeah. So it wasn't like we'd known each other for years and then just got together. It was like we just wanted to spend more time together. Tips to get the spark back in a relationship. Hmm. Like getting back to the roots, like maybe like organize a first date and like like yeah. treat it like a first date yeah. like even if you live together like the guy has to go outside and like not see you for a couple of hours and then come pick you up or other way around like go out on first date and uh, talk to each other don't go on your phone with stress and when people get busy and stuff it's easy to put your partner like to the side like i said compromise is a big one a lot of the reason like sparks go away or people don't want to be in a relationship anymore is because the other one's got things that are above their desire for this person. Yeah. I don't know if we, don't know if we really answered that question. So I'm gonna rant. What was the question? How to get spark back? You answered it well. Yeah. Go go back to your roots. Start again a little bit. Short ad break so I can eat a donut. <laughs> we went out camping and they have an incredible bakery out there. Does all sorts of vegan 
um, dairy free, gluten free. It's in the vlog, so we stocked up when we were there. And I'm going to eat one. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there is just one person for you? No. Like soulmates, like from birth you were destined to be with one person? Mm. No. no I don't think there is one person like that. I think there are multiple people. Yeah. But I think there is one type of person for you. Yeah. Because I think you can be with anyone. But there's only going to be a certain type of person that actually works yeah. with you. I think there's a certain type of person, a certain personality that I that is required for me to yeah. be with them for the rest of my life kind of thing. You know what yeah. I mean? You need to be compatible. Yeah, so I in that think. sense, yes, I think there's one type of person. But yeah. I don't think there's one soul. We don't have one soul, but we have like thousands of people that we could be with. Mm -hmm. And then it would work. Because there's a, like, how many people in the world? Seven billion. And you can absolutely change over time and yeah. love something different. I'm not a relationship therapist, so take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. This is no. just my own experience. Yeah. Best date you two have been on. Does Bali count as a date? That was fun. Yeah, that that was wasn't a date, that was yeah. a holiday. Um, yeah. First date was my favorite date. The day we went to the beach with my Oh, that was really cool. We had the beach day. Yeah. Because it was the first day Sophie told me she loved me. Yeah. Hit me hard. <laughs> It was just such a good day, like everything was mm -hmm. perfect about it. Everything went right. I think our first day still tops that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Our first day was amazing. I, I wish, I, sometimes I wish I could go back. And experience it. To experience that again. First thing you noticed about Soph. I've actually known Soph, or known of Soph since preschool. We, we didn't hang out at all. And I, I don't think in the 12 years of schooling I probably said more than 100 words to you. Probably not. Like we were never friends. Never friends, never hung out in the same group, never no. talked. Anyway, we met up on schoolies, which is like the big celebration after you finish high school in Australia. Because I was still good friends with a lot of the group that you were hanging out with. So we went down there. The first thing I noticed about you, just regarding the preschool time, the first time I really noticed yeah. you. Actually, the first time I really noticed you was at my 18th birthday which was before schoolies the rest of the group was invited yeah. we weren't that close or anything no. but i remember thinking god damn because she was looked stunning she's gorgeous because she looked amazing you seriously did though really? yeah and then my mum randomly came up to you and complimented you on that so i'm not lying everyone was like yeah. other than that on schoolies the first thing i rocked up Early the next morning, I missed out on the first night. And she had a big night party, so she was in her pajamas and looked like she'd been hit by a train. First thing I thought was, you look really cute because you had your matching PJs on, and you walked out and you were like, "Hi," and just kept walking. And I was like, "That's really cute." I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. I like girls when they're in their, I don't know, worst state. You could say, as you would call it, mm -hmm. like your state where you wouldn't want anyone seeing you. I thought it was really cute because you had little pajamas on, your hair's like. Poof. <laughs> and you and you just look like a wreck. First thing I noticed about you, though, in a relationship sense, like on our first date, your sense of humour, and like you weren't afraid to just talk. Like it wasn't awkward at all. Our whole day was not even the slightest bit awkward. No, it wasn't. From the minute you and I picked you up, it was just like we were just talking. So it's looking much better. Back to editing. So I think I'm going to plan the workout for this afternoon. I'll give you guys a workout to do. Sam's workouts. Could be a segment. <laughs> so still on the couch. <laughs> Three Christmas movies. That's your Christmas movie quote of the Did month. Really? Anyway, so are you ready to go for your workout? Okay, I guess it's just me going then. All right, we're just heading down to the local workout park. Park I always work out, work out at. Do some more running, just functional training. I just think personally the best way for me to get fit or to my fittest is and to incorporate my whole body. Fitness and all the different fitness types, cardio, strength, endurance, is to just do back to basics training, just running, push-ups, all body weights, just pushing your body to a limit and being uncomfortable. I think being uncomfortable is a huge part of getting fit, being sweaty, being dirty, being outdoors, that's just me anyway. First up's my suicide runs, so basically you run to the first one, then back to here. Run to the second one, back to here, third, here, fourth, and then you start from that end. So you hit the fourth, and then you turn around and go back to the first one. There and back is one, you do it five times. And the other thing I like to do for some exercises like this one is not have music in. It's just like a little thing, just because music is a good way to, for me personally, to distract yourself from the pain, I guess. I know it sounds dramatic as, but if I can be fully in the moment without having any sort of distraction without any sort of relief. That's the best way that I can work out. Uh, that's 
that's that. Last thing to do, three 90 second planks. Put some music in, I'm so knackered. When you have the weekend off and you eat too many donuts. Oh. That hurts. Let's go for a swim, eh? She woken up. I'll now pass the mantle back to Sophie Jane. My work here is done. I just, I fell asleep for a little bit, but the pain started to come back, so I had a bit more of the pain relief. Feeling kind of better now. So I'm gonna try and eat something I have. I did have a smoothie earlier on. But the laziest day ever. Watch through Christmas movies. That's okay, because I think my body needed it. Okay, I have made it into bed. I had a shower, washed my face, so I feel a lot lot fresher now. I really really hope you have enjoyed the Sam takeover today. Sorry if it wasn't that interesting, like I didn't plan anything out for you guys or anything. No. It was just this morning. Yes, I also do have Sam's t-shirt on because I don't know about anyone else. The boyfriend's t-shirts are the most comfy. Yeah, they're more comfy. If you had a bought the same t-shirt, it wouldn't be as comfy. Exactly. I really really hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm feeling feeling a lot better now so I'm excited for tomorrow to get back on track with everything um, but yeah give it a thumbs up for Sam because he did an amazing effort and he's waiting for me to finish the vlog so he can turn the light off because he's really tired okay goodbye thumbs up for Sam thumbs up for Sam please <laughs>